<coughs> Podcast Network Asia. Network Asia. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Talk, Small Conversations with Huge Impact. My name is Alec Cuenca and I'm your host. And thank you guys for joining me today. I know that you guys are probably busy with all the things that you have to do in life. You are getting there. You are reaching your goals. And this time that you're spending here right now with me means so much to me because I know I can see that you're really, really committed in making yourself a better version of yourself. So... Um, with that, you know, I welcome you to the show. If this is your first time, then welcome. I hope you learned something from this episode. And if you do, then please go check out the other amazing episodes that we have on Small Talk. If you're an avid listener of the, the show, thank you so much. You are the main reason why the podcast keeps on growing and growing. So thank you so much. So today we are going to talk about the two things that you can do right now to make your life instantly better. And I say instantly because this is a quick fix. This is really, really simple and you can do it right now, but it's not easy. You know, change requires you to step out of your comfort zone. And stepping out of your comfort zone is really uncomfortable because you step out of your comfort zone. But, you know, one of my favorite quotes that I repeat these past few days is that, when you are scared to jump, that's exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you'll remain in that place forever. Growth is on the other side of change. And the two things that I'm going to share with you will require a tremendous amount of courage that you have inside of you. A lot of people think they they can't do it and they can't change their life. But I'm telling you right now, you can. You can change your life. You are way stronger than you think. You're way braver than you think. So whatever I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be hard. It's not an easy decision, but you can do it, okay? So backstory first. Um, when I was growing up, me and my cousins used to go to this like weekly meeting that we have. We'd like to play or you know, act like adults. We, we'd get um, coffee or chocolate or something. And then we'd just be together and we'd talk about things. We'd gossip, um, you know, different stories that we heard in our family. In our compound, because my mother, they are 12. My mother has 11 siblings. And as you can tell, we have a lot of stories to share. We have so many drama and all that stuff. And we we used to gossip about those things. And then when we got older, we kept on doing that. Though, you know, it's not always like all of us cousins. It's like, minsan, four lang kami or five lang kami. Tapos nagkukentuhan lang kami about life. And then we gossip about things. But eventually, the stories became more personal and heavier. And these stories, these gossips became a lot more stressful because we now get a grasp on what life is and we realize that we're meant for so much more than just that. But we're stuck with these dramas and these gossip. And then for me personally, I I tried to stay away from those kind of conversations because those conversations, it's really negative and the vibe that it just gives me, it, it makes me feel heavy and I won't be able to be this light and positive person that I want to be. So I stayed away from it. And as I reflected back, I noticed that most of the time, they don't change. They're still the same. Like if I go to one of my cousin, he would still talk about people, gossip, drama, Okay. Came, I grew so pissed at that and I just realized that it's a waste of energy. And I realized these two things that we can do that I did in my life that removed me from all the stress, from all the things na nakita ko growing up. You know, I love my family, but my family is not perfect. But I still feel that they can do so much better. And um, although I'm not the one to show them that, maybe I can inspire them to do that, but I'm not the one to tell them that. But I, I, I just realized that I got to break the pattern and the pattern ends with me. So I said to myself, I got to do something. So I, I looked back and I studied them. And then I learned that I can do two things to make my life instantly better. The first one is I can do something. Even though the pattern was already there, even though it's, um, you know, 
It was years since the destructive and limiting beliefs that we have um, is embedded in, in, the, in our families. We can do something about it. So for example, someone says na, um, my mother makes me feel that I don't belong in the family. Well, the first thing that you can do is you can do something about it. You can sit down and talk with them, talk with them, or you could express your feeling or say, "Now, nah, okay, I'm not happy with this anymore. This is this is toxic." You can do that, okay? A lot of people are scared to confront or to try to change the situation because they fear that they might lose the person at, at the other end. But I realized that people who love you will always be there for you, no matter what you do, even if you disappoint them. They will be there for you. Of course, my konting tampuhan sa simula, pero at the end, they will be there for you. And so, a lot of us are scared to make a change in our lives because we are scared to lose someone. But that's the risk that we need to be willing to take. Otherwise, we are going to stay in the same situation that we are dreading, that we hate, that we don't like. And that's stupid. It is stupid for us to stay in a situation that we really hate. And a lot of us think that we cannot do anything about it. We can't. If you are unhappy with your relationship, you can leave that relationship. But Alex, sayang, you know, we, we, we're going to try. Love, love is worth fighting for. No. A lot of us just want to complain and try to blame or justify something or someone why we're unhappy with our lives. But the truth is, we are the one who dictates what is happening in our lives. And a lot of us are in pain, right? And in, when we are feeling pain, that's an agent for us to do something. That's a catalyst or that's a trigger for us to act on something. Pain is not there just for you to be hurt. Pain is calling for you to act on something. Okay? So if you are hurting right now, if you feel pain, then you should do something about it. If you are unhappy with your relationship, leave your relationship. If you're unhappy with your job, then leave your job. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Alec, I think I'm going to disagree with you on that one. I can't just leave my job. I hate my job, but I can't leave my job because that's what, you know, that's where all of my money comes from. And I have so many people to feed. But you're coming to me and saying that I need to quit my job? That's a little bit harsh, Alec. That's not as easy as you think. Okay. Okay, then. But if you're complaining right now, one thing is clear, you're unhappy with your life or with your job, right? If you cannot leave your job, then that's okay. But you can do something about it. You can tell your boss why you're unhappy. You can try to talk to your peers why you're unhappy and find the resolution why you know you could possibly alleviate the stress that you're feeling. But if you can't do that, okay, if if, if that doesn't solve the issue then you can do the second thing. And the second thing that you can do right now to make your life instantly better is surrender. Stop trying to think about what if I leave my job? What if I follow Alex's advice? What if ganto ganyan? I shouldn't be in stress right now. I shouldn't be feeling stress right now. I should be like this. I should be like that. What could happen if I do this? I could have done something better in my past. You're so focused on the what ifs, the what should be and the what could be. And that is bringing so much stress in your life. And if you want to be happy right now, if you want to make your life instantly better, then you need to surrender to what is. You need to surrender to the reality. Accept the reality that you are in right now and surrender. Surrender to God or if you don't believe in God, surrender to the universe or if you don't believe in the universe, surrender to yourself. Have faith in God. Have faith in the universe. Have faith in yourself that whatever you're going through right now will make sense eventually. That this rough patch will be temporary. That this too shall pass. 
the stress that you have right now is directly proportional to how much you are trying to resist on the reality of where you are in. So stop trying to resist. Accept wherever you are. If you're unhappy, then surrender. And what I mean, what I mean by surrender is not just go- you're going to do nothing. What I mean by surrender is you are going to surrender the resistance that you always did before. If your heart got broken, then surrender to the fact that your heart got broken. If your job is really, really stressful, then surrender to the fact that your job is really stressful. Do not try to fight it. Do not try to avoid it. Do not try to numb what you are feeling right now. But surrender to what you are feeling. Allow yourself to feel the the emotions, all of it, the good and the bad. When you do that, you become more compassionate towards yourself. You become kinder to yourself. And you'll realize along the way, I'm not trying to be, you know, preachy or anything, but eventually something intervenes. Something will be there for us that will save us, that will change the situation that we are in. So if you can't surrender, okay, let me just tell you this. What if I told you that at the end, it's going to be really, really beautiful, like 100%. It's going to be so great that you won't even remember what you are worrying about right now. Would you stress yourself right now? No. So hold on to that. Hold to that. Hold on to the faith in yourself, in your, in God, in the universe. That it will get better. Because from my experience, it always does. All I needed to do was was to surrender. So those are the two things that you can do right now to make your life instantly better. Number one is do something about it. Do not tell me that you can't do anything about it. You can do something. Stop bitching around. Stop complaining. Do something about your life. If you're happy with your life and you don't want to change anything, that's good. Okay? I'm not here to be preachy about, you know, make your life better. If you are happy with your life, that's my goal. If you're happy, then I'm good with that. But if you are coming to me complaining why you're so unhappy, why you're so stressed, and you're not doing anything with your life, stop. Okay, do something about it. Or you can do the second thing. Surrender. Drop what if. Drop what could be. Drop what should be. And accept what is. Okay? So that's it for this episode. I'm trying to make you know the episodes a little bit shorter so that it can be more digestible. If you like this short form of content, please share this on Instagram. Do not forget to tag me at Small Talk Podcast. And yeah, I will be having um, a Podcast Academy Batch 2 on May 15 if you want to if you want me to mentor you on how you could create grow and monetize your podcast send me a message at small talk podcast or go to bit.ly slash podcast academy batch 2 to register but yeah that's all i have for you for this episode thank you so much for listening my name is alec cuenca and this is small talk small conversations with huge impact thank you so much for listening and i'll talk to you guys next episode Bye bye The views and opinions expressed by the podcast creators, hosts, and guests do not necessarily reflect the official policy and position of Podcast Network Asia. Any content provided by the people on the podcast are of their own opinion and are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything.